Hey, what up, what up? It's right time to go through GCC Mass Triangles topic and practice questions. Right, so sort of revision. So we go through, and the first problem, find the unknowns in the following, given brief reason for that. All right, we have this as the first triangle. We need to figure out F as the angle. So what we can do, we know the property that exterior angle of triangle is equal to the sum of two opposites interior angle so it looks like 25 plus 33 so you can also go through another way of doing so probably you if you be able to define angle x you know that angle f and angle x together will give you 180 so x with a couple 25 and 33 will give you also 180 that's simply the sum of all interior angles so from where it's going to be 180 minus the sum of 25 and 33 okay so we found x it will plug there we'll have actually the same that f equals to 25 plus 33 okay so that's exterior through opposite interior angles in the triangle. Just remember this property of the triangle. And this actually through the proof through the open angle. And here is the same. All right, so let's go to two. Here you have A simply. A plus 23 plus 95 will be equal to 180. So from where we can figure out that A is 180 minus the sum of 23 plus 95. Okay, and you'll be able to calculate. So it's done. The next state the longest side of each of the following triangles. So, okay, uh, in order to know that, we know that the opposite sides. No, sorry, uh, that this the longest side will be opposed to the largest angle. So we're looking for the largest angle in the triangle. For this, we need to define all the rest angles that we don't know. Let's specify them. So 103, 52. So this angle is 180 minus the sum of 103 and 52 it turns out to be 155 in total so we'll get 25 degrees so obviously 103 is the largest angle so AC is the longest side all right let's go here 32 32 so we can check you know the different way i'll show you 32 and 32 you'll get 64 so obviously this angle more than 90 degrees and it turns out to be the largest so bc is the large side and the last one so we have 90 degrees for the rest part i mean for two other angles in the sum in total you need to have also 90 degrees because 90 and 90 will give you 180 so it looks like 90 degrees is the large angle so and it turns out to be cb becomes hypotenuse because it's also the large side opposed to the 90 degrees which is the largest one all right so next one find the values of unknowns in each triangle so the first triangle, unknowns. A here, so we simply use 120 plus A equals 180 because it's open angle. This angle is open. All right, so from here, A is 60 degrees. How to find B? In order to find B, you need to know. Oh, okay, just use the property for the exterior angle, which is B and it equals to the sum of two opposite and interior angles so it looks like that is a plus 40 degrees 
So A is 60, so your exterior angle B is 100 degrees. Okay, so B is 100 degrees. Okay, let's move next. All right, so we have actually nested triangle. I highlight that this triangle is netted, nested into the big one. So what we can do, we know that two lines are parallel. So if this angle is 66, sorry, 76, angle D is also 76. We use the property of two parallel lines and the second line. This angle and this angle will be the same. All right, so C, angle C, let's find out. So 48 and 48 also here using the same property. So what we can do, we know that C is simply 180 minus the sum of 48 and 76 in total. So angle C is 180 minus the sum is 116 and 8 is 124. So we subtract in the rest part that stays for C is going to be 56 degrees. All right, perfect. And here is the task. 65 and B, they are opposite vertical angles. So B is also 65 degrees. So next one, we have 72 and A, again, the same reason, opposite and so vertically opposite angles, 72 degrees. And what else, what more? So angle C, I guess. C is exterior angle, so it equals to angle A and angle B together, so it equals to two opposite interior angles. So it turns out to be 72 plus 65, so angle C is 137. All right, at angle D, so this is open angle, so C and D being adjacent, so basically they, the sum of those two angles is 180 degrees. So from there, angle D is simply 180 minus 137. In this case, we can figure out the value, which is 43 degrees. Okay. So next one, the three angles of the scalene triangle are x, x plus 10, and 2x plus 1. What are the size of these angles? Okay, so I drop scalene triangle. Okay, so let it be scalene triangle. Oops, actually it's bad. It's better to redraw it one more time. Okay, so that's clean, and let's say this is the measure of x, let's say 2x plus 1, no matter actually where you put those values, and x plus 10. So x plus 10. Work, work out the size of these angles. We know the property that if we add them up, we'll get 180. So, because that's definitely degrees measure, yes, in degrees. So we can work out by just simply simplifying. Simply simplifying, good words, good phrase. Okay, so we'll get 3x and x is 4x, 1 and 10, 11, so it's 180 minus 11. So we'll get x is approximately, or maybe just precisely the small 180 minus 11 is 169 over 4. So that's the measure of, that's accurate measure or precise measure for angle X. 
Next angle is 2x plus 1, so simply write the following. 169 over 2, we multiply by 2 here, and we just add 1. So angle 2x plus 1 is equal to 171 over 2. And the last angle is x plus 10. Let's figure out the value, so just simply x plus 10, so we'll get 169 over 4, just plus 10, okay? So x plus 10 value is going to be 169 plus, so I just erased, 169 plus 40 over 4, and that will be equivalent to 209 over 4. So for those who need to calculate, just simply use calculator and calculate and probably round up the answer up to 2 dp. That's good. Thank you.